Hey guys, it's good to see you again. Dan, good to see you again. Vicki, why don't you come on in and have a seat here. Uh, actually, Vicki, if you don't mind, I'm gonna have you park over there in that far seat if you don't mind. Dan, you can just sit right here by me. You drew the short stick, didn't you? You gotta sit right by me. <laughs> well, it's good to see you guys. Have you been to anything uh, exciting or done anything exciting in the last two weeks since we saw you last? Well, our life just isn't that exciting. It's, it's not, uh, huh? <laughs> getting up in the morning and having coffee is exciting to us anymore, you know? Well, you know, sometimes a uh, dull roar is a nice thing. So, well, it's good to see you guys again. I've been looking forward to taking care of this with you. I'm kind of excited about it. I think you'll be excited about what I've got here with you. And uh, I've got my laptop here ready and rolling. I'm going to show you a few things here in a little bit. But before I do anything... Uh, I wanted to ask you if you brought the folder, yes, but did you have, uh, do you mind opening that up? I want to see something in there if you don't mind. Uh, let's see, right here, yes. I'm going to just pull this out okay. and I'm going to hold on to that just for a minute. And then I want to give you something. I think what I'm about to tell you is actually one of the most important things about what we're going to do in this second meeting. Therefore, I like to do it right up front. I'm going to give you a refrigerator magnet with the contact info for Church Funerals Direct, and I'm going to give you some contact cards. Notice on the back when I hand it to you, it says, Upon my death, it's my desire that you call Church Funerals Direct right away at 800-308-3590. Thank you for honoring my wishes. You can even sign that if you want. But I'm going to tell you why this is so important. One of the worst things that can happen as we progress through this process today is your family doesn't know what we've done here today. So something happens to you, as it will someday, hopefully that's many years down the road, and what could happen is they don't know. Maybe it's your kids. I remember Olivia and Gavin are your children. Maybe it's the last person standing and the kids don't know. You set this uh, funeral pre-planning up with Church Funerals Direct, and two things might happen. They go to some other funeral home in the future, and it's really going to cost them a lot more. And two, they may not honor your wishes because they might not even know what they are. I remember, Vicki, you were adamant about you wanted burial, not cremation. That might be something that doesn't happen if your kids don't know that. So can't stress enough, make sure, I'm gonna hand that to you, Dan. Right. Make sure your kids, maybe a, a pastor or a neighbor or somebody gets these contact cards. How many do you think you would need? Help me out with that. Okay, so, so two kids, I'm thinking, is what you're thinking. And then I'm curious, who are the other two people you're thinking? Um, Your sister, my sister, probably. Okay, that's great. And I'll tell you what, I've got, actually I have five right here. I like to give an extra one in case you run across someone who you think might need to know about Church Funerals Direct. You can just give them that number. So now that we've got that taken care of, please, please make sure you get those in the hands of your family. I just want to repeat something that was on this list that we went over the last time a couple weeks ago, so you've slept since then. I just wanted to remind you that even today, no decision's final. Again, the example is, Dan, you chose a copper casket, I remember from the last meeting. If a year from now you see a funeral and they have a white one, and you think, boy, that looks really snazzy, I thought it would be blasé, but it looks good and it reminds me of the purity of Christ, you can switch. It's a lateral change. Some changes cost more. We settle up at the end. No problem. Some result in a refund for your family, but no decision's final. So much so that you can even change your mind and use someone else. So what we're going to do here today, you can take care of everything with this. You can pre-plan, which is free. We're going to take care of that today for sure for you. You can lock in your discounts and your today's guaranteed forever pricing if you want to. We're going to talk about that today. But even if you did all of that, you can still use a whole different funeral home if you wanted to. I don't know why you would because it's going to cost you a lot more, but you could just so you know. And finally, the big thing, you're going to have peace of mind. I bet you already feel a little better. Yes. Yes. You're making progress from the last meeting to today. So we're going to take care of all that. I'm going to hand that back to you. You can put that in your folder where you want then. So just to remind you, you're not obligated in any way by putting this free funeral pre-plan in place. So what I'm going to do here is I have prepared, based on our last meeting, we did a funeral estimate. 
And that funeral estimate, I then turned into Church Funerals Direct corporate office. One of the funeral directors took that information that I gathered from you, what your wishes you desire are from last meeting, and they have turned that into what we call a DocuSign agreement that you'll do here on the computer in a minute, pre-plan funeral arrangement. So I'm gonna pull this one out. This one is yours, Dan. And you're gonna see some information right there. I would encourage you to look that over sometime later. You don't have to do it right now. A lot of info there, but yeah, there's nothing in there to be concerned about. I assure you of that. Second page is where we're really gonna hone in on in a little bit. This is the funeral pre-plan from the funeral estimate. Just like I gathered at the last meeting, it's now on the DocuSign pre-need agreement. And this is page three, oops, and this is page four. And I'm gonna hand this to you with page two showing. We're gonna go over that. And Vicki, I have one for you as well. And we're just gonna go over that here. And uh, I'm gonna scoot a little bit closer to you and use my pen here as a pointer. And uh, do you mind putting that right there? Let me just show you what we've got here. Just to recap what your wishes were. Over here you see a funeral package that is our normal standard package, which is $5,495. Our standard funeral package, which is $5,495. You see that for both of you, same choice. Then you have some discounts. The first one marked here you'll see is our pre-planning discount, $500 that you'll get for that. It's also marked on yours, Dan. That began at our last meeting a couple weeks ago and will culminate right here, right now, in just a little bit. Then we have our preferred partner discount. That's because you both get a $500 discount when you have your funeral at a preferred partner church, which you go to one church in Kokomo. And just a reminder, Pastor Tim Gates and the elders were wise and savvy to know they wanted to team up with us and partner. Doesn't cost your church anything, but what it does do is it allows anyone who has their funeral at that church to get a $500 discount. Then we have the $1,000 VIP travel plan membership discount right here. Let me just recap as I will today, because you've slept, it's been two weeks since we've seen each other. Let me remind you what that VIP travel plan is. It will get you a $1,000 discount in return for $495, that's for each of you. So you each will pay a separate one-time fee, just like I mentioned in the last meeting, in return for a $1,000 discount. What it's designed to do if you were to die anywhere over 100 miles away from home, it's gonna pay, if you've purchased this already, to bring your body back to your home, your domicile. As long as you died 100 miles away from home, you might have been in Florida on vacation or something like this, anywhere in the world, it'll pay up to $5,000. So that, combined with your other two discounts, brings you to a $2,000 discount off of that $5,495 standard funeral cost bringing you so far down to $3,495. The next section, and you'll see there's three sections here, the itemized services, the merchandise, and the cash advances. The next section is the itemized services, and you didn't add anything like extra hours of visitation or viewing. You didn't have to add anything extra. Therefore, the subtotal for section one is still $3,495, as you'll see that. Now we move down here to section two, and that's the merchandise. Well, you both have a casket, and it's included with us. Vicki, we have it listed right there as you asked, the white one with the pink crepe. We made sure we got that pink. I remember you were all excited about pink, because that being your favorite color. I remember that discussion. And then Dan, over here for you, we have the copper casket with the rose tan crepe. Those are all included in this. You also chose a burial vault. Right here, you'll see it's $17.95, and you both chose that, so we've added that in, in our merchandise. You come over here, and you added one more thing, Vicki. You added the video tribute. Dan, you added that too. Just want to recap something about that for you. The video tribute had three things that were real important about it. Number one, you can 
start uploading with a link, photos while you're still alive. That's a wonderful thing. That'll save you a lot of stress, your pastor a lot of stress, and your family a lot of stress. It's a wonderful thing. Second thing about it, you can put up to 700 pictures on there. You probably won't, but you could. Most funeral homes, it's only one to 200. And the third thing, it's on our website forever. A lot of funeral homes I know is only one year. With us, it's on there forever. The sample I showed you was from 2017. You remember that last uh, time we met? That's still on our website. Yours will be too. So we've got that in there. And then Dan, we have one more thing for you. And again, I wanna thank you for your service as a veteran to our military, the Air Force. You chose a cap panel, which was $150. We've got that included in. And I do remember, just so you know, I have notes for my field report, which I've prepared. We'll talk about that in a little bit. I have the notes that you wanted the military honors, the flag folding ceremony, but you didn't want the gun salute. So we've made note of that. And we'll again discuss that in a little bit. So when you look at your total for section two, it's 2,090 for the merchandise. Then we move over to section three, the cash advance items. Now, you may remember, that those are the third party services for things that are rendered at the time of your death, such as, let's say the florist, let's say the newspaper obituary, maybe the cemetery opening and closing, those kind of things. And you both chose to put $2,000 in there, bringing your section three subtotal to 2,000. When you add it all together, taking off your 2,000 in discounts, your total price there, Vicki, is $7,785. What is it say? $7,585. Okay. So when you add these all together, minus your $2,000 in discounts, it's $7,785 for yours, Vicki. And that included the casket, remember. You're not far off from what a lot of funeral homes charge just for the casket. Dan, when we add all of this together for you and take off your 2,000 in discounts, it's $7,735 for you. So now that we see your totals, this is exactly the same on a paper printout as what I'm looking at on my computer here, and I'm gonna show you this. Let me slide this over for you. Let me get this pulled up. You're gonna see here, Review document, this is your free funeral pre-plan. Well, I see that link expired, so let me just get that fixed right up for you. Oops. Here we go. I'm just gonna click this right here, continue. And you see this is identical to this. This one's yours, Dan. You see these pages as I scroll back and forth there? You see that okay? And then I'm just gonna go to that page two that's so important. And you'll notice right here, that total is the same. Mm -hmm. $7,735 right there. Same as that. Exactly, this is the same. So what I'm gonna have you do, I'm gonna press start right here. And if you would press those yellow tabs as you go through, it's going to auto-populate your signature and your initials for you. Is that right? You see it right there? Uh, yeah, adopt. Yep, adopt and sign. You've got it. Now you just keep hitting those yellow tabs. There's about three or four of them. And when you get to the very end, there's gonna be a blue tab that says finish. That will be you actually signing. And let me just scroll up and right there. So you hit finish and I'll tell you what's gonna happen. I'm gonna turn this around, pull yours up, Vicki. What's gonna happen is you are going to actually, now that you've signed it, it's gonna to go to a church funerals direct, corporate funeral director, and that person is also going to sign it, countersign it in this case, and they're gonna send that right back to your email and my email, so you can be watching for it. You can certainly keep this one, there it is, just bounced right in there. You can keep this one, of course, if you'd like, but when you get that, you can just print that off and the only difference will be, it'll have your signatures on it and the funeral director's signatures on it. And your free funeral pre-plan will be on file then with Church Funerals Direct, ready to go. Vicki, we're just gonna do the same thing right here. So let's hit those, go right ahead. You saw what we did. And that's your signature, you're adopting and signing. 
hitting all the yellow tabs, there's only three or four. And when you get to the bottom here, the blue tab you're ready for, you go ahead and hit finish. And that takes care of that. Simple. That's yeah, it is. And you'll receive those back in your email in a little while, probably. Might be a day or so, but often it's the uh, same day in just a little while. So I'm going to slide this aside for a moment, and we're just going to continue on. Now that you have your free funeral pre-plan in place, you've really accomplished something. I want to just remind you of something. Now that we've done that, when you leave here, you're going to give those contact cards to your sisters, I heard you mention, to your children, Olivia and Gavin. You might even want to give one to your pastor or your neighbor. Sometimes people have a neighbor they keep, you know, keep tabs on each other. Whoever you give those to, once they know something ever happens to you, you know, I hate to say it this way, but if you were in a car accident together and you're both gone, are the people left behind going to know? Once you give them those contact cards, now that you've got this free funeral pre-plan in place, you were so adamant that you wanted buried, not cremated. That's all going to be known. All those wishes are known. In a little bit, we're going to work on your field report, which will have some other details. But first, we're going to transition now to the option to fund your funeral and lock in your discounts and get today's guaranteed forever prices locked in if you want to. Before I go through this, I just wanna tell you something. You do not have to do that. It's not required. Fact is, sometimes we kinda of like it occasionally when people don't, because you know what happens, Dan? Years go by, you die, you're gonna take care of the funeral then, the pre-plan's in place, but now you have to pay for it. And you know what, the prices, no doubt, years from now are gonna be quite a bit more. We make a little more that way. So we're occasionally fine if people don't fund. It's no problem, don't feel obligated. You may wanna fund and lock in today's guaranteed forever prices. That's up to you, of course. I'm gonna show you what your options are should you choose to do that. So Vicki, let me give you this. And Dan, let me give you this. And I will walk you through these. This is a NGL, which is National Guardian Life, quote for you, a quote of what it will cost to fund your funeral. Let me just tell you something first. National Guardian Life is where all funeral homes have to choose some insurance company to hold, third party in a sense, hold these funds in a funeral trust. We choose to use NGL. We find them to be a very, very good and strong company and safe. So your funds are going to be, if you choose to fund, safe and sound held in this third party funeral trust insurance policy with NGL, National Guardian Life. Here's the quote for you. Let me take my pen. So let me look at Dan, you first. Obviously you can pay a single payment, $7,735, and have your funeral all taken care of, prices locked in, discounts locked in, or you can make a payment. I will tell you that you are both young enough to have the maximum number of payments because you're 80 and younger, you're not even close to 80, you can do 10 years if you wanted. The choices are single, one payment, three year, five year, seven year, or 10 year. You can see, Dan, at 10 years, it's only $133.43 for a 65-year-old fellow like yourself. That's very affordable and doable. People really appreciate these options. And Vicki, yours is, help me out, what's that say? 7585 That's right. You can make a single payment of $7,585 or one of these payment options. 10 years is only $130.68 for you. So let me ask you. Are you more comfortable with a single payment or something like the 10-year payment or maybe something in between? What are you more comfortable with? Should we do a single for me and a 10-year for you? Stretch one out, pay for the other. That makes sense. That's a good idea. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, so just to repeat what I think I heard you say, for you, Vicki, you're looking at doing a single payment of 7000 7585 thank you. My old eyes aren't quite what they used to be. And Dan, you're looking at doing yours as a 10-year payment plan, is that correct? 133 and 43 cents. Okay, we can do that. 
Before I set that up with the National Guardian Life paperwork, I brought an application here with me. And because I've already met with you once, I had a lot of your information already gathered. So I've already got your main information on here. I'm gonna verify that. And then I wanna ask you a health question. Let me just verify your information for both of you first. I have you as Daniel, D-A-N-I-E-L, E, Townsend, 260-751-2497. Date of birth, June 15th, 1959, making you 65. Is that all correct? Yes, it is. I have your address as 123 Main Street, Kokomo, Indiana, 46902. And your email is D-T-I-N-V-E-S-T-M-E-N-T-S at Outlook.com. Everything good there? And what is your social security number, Dan? I do not have that yet. 304 112931. All righty. So, Vicki, I know you live in the same place, so I already have all of that information about your address. Uh, I just verify your birth date is November 10th, 1970, making yes. you 53. Yes. Your phone number was 765-431-2955, and it's V-I-C-K-I-E. Yes. Uh, middle initial S, and then Townsend, and I have you marked as female, and Dan, I had you marked as male, and then your email was V-S-L-A-M-A-R at Comcast.net, correct? Yes. And what is your social security number, Vicki? 927-21-8767. Okay, I've got that. Now let me ask you that health question. And Vicki, technically, since you're wanting to do a single payment, I don't really have to ask you the health question, but I'm going to anyway. Sometimes something comes of it. I'd just be curious to. And Dan, I definitely need to ask you and I'll explain why in a minute. Let me go ahead and read the question to you. I wanna tell you this, it's asking the question in a two year time period. Today is July 25th, 2024. So we're just gonna say between right now and July 25th, 2022. Just that two year time period is all we're talking about. Let me read this to you. Are you currently on oxygen, hospitalized, receiving hospice care, or confined to a nursing home or long-term care facility? Or during the past two years, have you been advised by a medical professional to have any surgical procedure which has not been performed? No. So nothing hanging out there you were told to do by a doctor and haven't done yet, okay. Or have you been treated or are you being treated, including medication, by a medical professional for any of the following diseases or disorders? Now I'm gonna go through a list of them, it's not very long. They're pretty simple questions. They're practically just asking if you're still alive. Let me go through them. Congestive heart failure, heart disease, stroke, cancer other than skin, immune system disorder, cirrhosis of the liver, drug or alcohol dependency, kidney failure, including dialysis, chronic obstructive pulmonary lung disease, COPD, emphysema, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, Lou Gehrig's disease, ALS, diabetic coma or insulin shock, amputation caused by a disease, Alzheimer's or dementia? Vicki, any of those for you? No. No, okay. Dan, how about you? Well, that very first one, that congestive heart failure. Okay, congestive heart failure. Ago. Okay, just recent, all right. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, congestive heart failure. Okay, that helps me a lot. I know what I'm going to be answering on this question then. So let me tell you something about how this works then. And actually, I'm gonna make a suggestion to you. Vicki, you said that you were just gonna pay yours off in full, and Dan, you were gonna make 10 years in payments on yours. Vicki, because of yours being paid off in full, you always get your own money in a sense. So if you were to make that single payment and then, God forbid, died the next day, your funeral's all taken care of, that's fully funded right there. Everything we set up will be taken care of. Dan, yours works a little different. If we say yes to the health question and you have a 10 year payment plan at the 133 and 43 cents, here's what's going to happen on yours. If you were to die anytime that first payment is made, let's just say six months later to pick a number, what's going to happen is NGL is going to refund all of those payments plus a 3% add on to that. I like to call it an honesty bonus for telling me the truth about that. 
they're going to refund that money back to Church Funerals Direct to give you a leg up on his funeral. Gives you a little extra boost with that 3%. Now, let's say you live one full year, and somewhere in year two, you were to die. Then NGL is going to actually pay 70% of that death benefit, $7,735. That's pretty good, isn't it? Now, after two years, doesn't matter how you die, it's going to kick in and pay that full amount. So let's say two and a half years from now, you die. You're nowhere near that 10 years of paying it off. By the way, at the end of the 10 years, it is paid off. You're done. You don't have to make payments anymore. You'd be 75. You're probably going to live several years after that, I would think. But it's all paid off. Even after just a couple of years of making those payments, the insurance kicks in and does that for you. That's a wonderful thing. But I'm going to make a suggestion to you, and you don't have to do what I'm going to say, but I will tell you it's probably something I think you're going to appreciate my help on. These are almost the same. Yours was, tell me again, 70... 7585 7585 and yours, Dan, is 7735 Those are very close in, in their uh, total. I'm going to make a suggestion to you. Unless you tell me there's a reason not to do it this way, I'm going to suggest, Dan, that you actually pay yours off in full because if you died one day later, your funeral's taken care of. But Vicki, if you do the 10-year plan, I'm actually going to switch over here and show you something else. That is for answering the health question, yes. I always start there because I never know what somebody's going to tell me, and I like to think of the worst case first and get that out of the way. But yours is actually going to switch to this one where you say no to the health question. And you'll notice your payment on that drops down from $130.68, if you were going to make the 10-year payment, to $126.42. But let me tell you how it works. You heard what I said, Dan, about when you say yes, what would happen? When you say no to the health question, you make one payment, and if you were to die the next day because it is in an insurance company, funeral trust policy, NGL is going to come in and pay that full funeral off for you. You made one payment. That's an amazing thing. Do you see the difference between it? So with your blessing, I'm going to suggest we make that change that we pay yours off in full with one payment, and we put yours on the 10-year payment plan, which is actually a little bit less than yours was anyway. What do you two think? What would you like to do? That makes sense to me. me okay. Yeah. Makes sense to you. Yes. Okay. Now, again, you do not have to fund your funeral. I want to be clear about that. But if you choose to, this is the way I would do it. So you do want to do that. All right. Well, let's go ahead and progress. I've already went through some of your basic paperwork here. Based on what you've just said, let me uh, take that off. I'm going to finish filling this out for you. I'm just going to slide this out of the way for a moment. And uh, let's see, Dan, I'm going to start with yours. So I don't actually even need to put a health question answer on yours because when you make a full payment, uh, taking care of it all at once, it's not even needed. So I'm going to put your funeral price here as $7,735. And we're going to mark that as a single payment. It's an EFT, electronic funds transfer. We'll do that through a checking or savings account here in a little bit. We'll take care of that. And it's a burial. So I'm going to take care of this, and then I don't need to, as I said, mark the health question. Now, on here you're going to see, and I'm going to give you a copy of this here in a little bit. You're going to get a pink copy after you sign it. But for the direction for payment of proceeds, that's Church Funerals Direct. We are a licensed Indiana funeral home. We're going to list the primary beneficiary, and I already auto-populated this with Vicki as your spouse. Is that okay? Okay, I figured that's what you'd want. Let me just tell you something, Vicki. If something were to happen to Dan, let's just say a year from now, just for an example, you're putting $2,000 in your cash advance. Prices won't go up that much in that amount of time. You might only need $1,500 of it. If that were the case, Church Funerals Direct wouldn't keep that extra $500 of that cash advance leftover money, it would go back to you as the beneficiary. So we always want to list a beneficiary. It can be anybody you want. I figured as a spouse, that's who you'd want to list. So I've got your information filled in here, and I already know what that is, so I've got it. And over here, Dan, I've got my uh, name and 
agent number with NGL and signature all on here, today's date, and I'm gonna have you sign that right there. And Vicki, I'm gonna give you a pen so you're ready here in a second. Let me pause for a second. We'll come back to your payment plan here in just a minute. Vicki, I'm gonna mark yours as $7,585. And that is going to be on a 10-year payment plan. And it's electronic funds transfer for burial. And that payment is gonna be $126.42 because you said no to the health question and your ongoing payment is gonna be the same, and you said no to the health question, so we're gonna mark that box. I've listed Dan as your primary beneficiary after the direction for payment goes to Church Funerals Direct, and you heard how that worked, and I've got my name and everything here, so we'll have you sign that one. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this apart. We're gonna leave this for you for the moment. I'm just gonna set it right there. I'm gonna keep this part. I'm gonna give you your pink part. And now let's do the premium withdrawal plan. Now, Dan, I'll start with you again. We're gonna do a single payment here, one initial uh, draft. And are you using a uh, checking account or a checking savings account? account? Checking account? I think we put it in here, didn't we, honey? Oh, you brought your uh, checkbook with you. Well, you were just, prepared. Just in case. <laughs> just in case, know. right. What is the bank name? Um, First Farmers. Okay. First Farmers Bank. Okay. And what is the routing number there, Dan? Uh, like 211. Okay. 4059. Okay. 3222. Okay. And what is the uh, account number on that checking account right there? Uh, 147 892. Okay. 311. All righty. And are you going to be using the same account for yours, Vicki? Same one? Are you both on that account? Both your names are on there? Okay, that's good to know. So this is checking. So your um, <clears throat> so yours is $7,735, and we're going to do a one draft on that to pay that off. Okay, all in one fell swoop. And you say your names are both on that account. And that would be Daniel E. Townsend. And I'm gonna have you sign this one, Dan. And I have a question for you here. And go ahead and sign right there as a pen. I asked this of both of you. So when I take this paperwork back and submit it, let's just say later today or tonight, I'm going to send this to NGL on an upload on a computer and they will draft it pretty much right away. I mean, it may take a day or so, but let's just say right away. Do you need to transfer funds into this account or anything or are you good for it to draft right away or yeah, today? We'll probably need a couple of days to get okay. some money moved over. Okay. So let's talk about that for a minute. So today is the 25th, sorry, today is August 8th. Uh, I think I said it was the 25th earlier. Today is August, that's when we met last time. Today is August 8th, 2024. It's Thursday. Uh, let's see, Monday is going to be August 12th. That's so probably Monday, it probably works. Okay, then I will not turn this in until then. So I'm going to make a note here for myself to turn Dan's in on the 12th. Okay, that way you won't have to worry about that. You'll have plenty of time. And I'm going to give you a copy of this here. Let me go ahead and leave that with you over there. I'll put this here. And now Vicki, you say it's that same account. So I'm just gonna write that down here right real quick. I've got that numbers right here. Okay. All righty. Now yours is going to be that 10-year uh, payment plan. So let me pull yours up real quick, which was $126.42. And that's gonna be from that same checking account, uh, correct? Yes. Okay, now question for you. Do you care what date 
this drafts every month. Like for example, some people will tell me they want the third because that's when their social security comes in or something like that. Do you have a preference? My social security is on the second Wednesday. So we could, is it possible to do it on the second Wednesday? Uh, actually, I cannot mirror that, but I could mirror like a third or you know something like that. So in that case, I would probably just pick maybe uh, the 15th. Okay, that would be fine. I'll just mark it for the 15th. So are you okay with that draft happening on the 15th of August? Uh, I'm sorry, today is uh, August 8th. So if we did it this month, the 15th of August, would that still be okay? All right, then I will turn this one in. Let me make a note of that. That's when your first draft for this, you want it to occur, not before. Is that right? Start this one then, okay. So Vicki on the uh, 15th. All right, I've got that. And I'm gonna have you sign this one, Vicki, right there. And I'll leave that copy with you here in a minute. All righty, we're making great progress, aren't we? You're starting to feel a little better, or, you know, maybe writing the check, maybe not so a much. <laughs> a little more broke, I hear you. All right, I'm saving a lot of money, I'll tell you, compared to other, other funeral homes. All right, now there's uh, something else we need to do. Our next thing is this price, again, you recall, was based on the VIP travel plan. That's what got you that $1,000 discount, bringing that cost down for each of you. And it requires a separate one-time fee of $495. Now I've already filled out your VIP travel plan paperwork, everything I knew except your social security numbers, which I didn't know at the time. So let me transfer those over since I have them on this app right here real quick. All right, and then, all righty, I've got that and I already have all your information you can double check. But I'm just gonna have you sign this. Today is August 8th. And Dan, I'm gonna have you sign in that first blank. And Vicki, I'm gonna have you sign in this where it has two blanks. Here you go. And something I wanna ask you, this one being a separate payment to Church Funerals Direct, not to National Guardian Life, we do have an option on this one. You can use a credit card or a debit card. Sometimes people like to rack up some miles and points or we can use a uh, checking account. You have your checkbook. What would you like to use? I want to give you that. Okay. All right. So if you want to start filling that out, you're going to do for both of you, remember, 990. And you're going to write that to Church Funerals, with an S, direct. Church Funerals Direct, 990. I'm going to let you work on that, and I'm going to come back in a second. So I'm gonna give you this notice of cancellation in a moment, and Dan, I know you're writing out that check for the VIP travel plan, and uh, it's $990 because it's two people, remember? So 495 times two, and you write that to Church Funerals Direct, and while you're doing that, I'm gonna tell, tell you both something. Uh, this is a notice of cancellation for the VIP travel plan. Now you don't really want to do that, I wouldn't think, because that's what got you that $1,000 discount. But should you choose to for some reason, I've got today's date, August 8th, 2024, and five days later is a cancellation. Now this one, I leave you the white and the yellow copy, and I keep the pink one for the company. It may uh, be something you look at later and think I forgot to bring that with me, and you may want to try to sign it and send it to me, but please don't, unless you are trying to cancel it. Most people don't, because it takes a, a null and void their, uh, their thing there. Dan, you've got that filled out, and I see you're on the ball. You want to write what you did right there, VIP travel plan. You made it out to Church Funerals Direct for $990 and VIP travel plan. That's because, again, it's a separate one-time fee for each of you separate from National Guardian Life and the funding of your actual funeral. This is something different, so I'm gonna keep that and take that with me. We don't need this page because uh, you're not using the credit card form, so we're just gonna put that away. I won't need it. And now I wanna to go to the field report. This is something I really try very hard to help people with. I already gathered some information from you when we met last time, and I've included it on my field report. There's a few things I still need to know, and I've got it typed up in here, and I'm just gonna add a few things here. Let me just make sure, get that laptop all open and running, 
I've got your field report pulled open here. And I have some things already written I want to tell you about. I have your daughter's name is Olivia, and I have Townsend, but I don't have her middle initial, and uh, that would be, I'm going to write it, okay, okay. And then I have uh, Gavin, and I have Townsend, but I don't know his middle initial. A? A. Okay. And then I assumed the way you spoke and their ages and students and whatnot, I think I heard you say they are at the same address as you, right? Yes. Okay. So I've got both of your kids listed. This field report is very important. This will be what the funeral director in the future will look at to know who to talk to in your family. And it sounds like you're good with either your son or your daughter they could talk to. No problems there. Some people have problems with one family member or another. And then I have information listed here. For example, your preferred partner church is one church in Kokomo, Indiana. Currently pastor Tim Gates is their requested pastor for their funeral, but he is no longer, if he is no longer available, but if he is no longer available, whoever is the lead pastor. Did I hear that right? Okay. Sure did. Dan has a DD-214 military release included, which I need to get, get that from you. Good, you brought that. All right, thank you. I've got that with me now, and I'm going to add that into my papers. Thank you for bringing that and remembering. Dan has a DD-214 military release included and would like an Air Force cap panel and military honors, but not the gun salute. I remember you saying that it was too loud, maybe some little kids around or something, and you said veterans with PTSD. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. I have both have plots at Albright Cemetery in Kokomo. Sometimes people want to add other things. For example, your favorite song you want played, maybe a psalm or a, another Bible verse you want at your funeral. Those things I can add in here now, but a lot of times people like to use this. I got one of these for each of you. It's a My Funeral Planning Guide, and you can just turn in here and open this up and find all kinds of interesting information that you might need. For example, right down here, Vicki, I noticed that you're wearing glasses. So are you, Dan. Taken off or left on at your funeral? Bet you didn't think of that. That's something at some point somebody's going to ask. Another example, I would like the following items placed in my casket, if any. Do you happen to have a wedding ring there, Vicki? I do. You do, okay. That might be the kind of thing that is a real debate someday. Do you want that going in the casket with you or given to, I believe your daughter was Olivia? That's something you can sort out all these details. Then fill this out at your own leisure when you guys have a chance. There's one for each of you. And if you want, I'll hand those to you. You can copy the two inside pages once it's filled out if you'd like, and you could send it to me and I can add it as an addendum to your field report or just keep it in your other information wherever you have the safe, the file box, wherever you keep this kind of stuff. So when the day comes that you are talking to the funeral director and someone has gone, that you can access this and we'll be able to tell them as they ask you questions, you'll be able to answer. You can give them info like, hey, mom wanted her ring left on for the service, but taken off before the burial, things like that, just as an example. So I'm gonna leave that with you right there. Okay, we have covered a lot of information. We've got your field report ready to go, your paperwork ready to go. You have your funeral planning guide. There's one more big thing I wanna do with you, it'll only take a minute, but before I do, do you have any questions for me? I've covered a lot, but do you have any questions for me? I don't have any questions. You okay. covered it really well. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. All right. So do you remember at our last meeting a couple weeks ago, I'd given you one of these and you filled out the first six names, just first names, and then we transferred those over to a list A and you gave that to me, I received it from you, and there you go, you're reading my mind. This is list B, you've got the second one. Thank you, uh, Vicki and Dan. Let me just look at what you have here and make sure I can read everything and if I have any questions. Uh, John and Susie, I see, are friends of yours. Um, just says friends, can I ask you, how are they friends of yours? I mean, a little more like uh, from church or their neighbors, or what, what can you tell me about them? I went to high school with John. High school with John. Okay, I'm just going to make note of that. And uh, 
Were you at the top of the class and he was at the bottom? Anything worth Somewhere knowing? Somewhere in there. Okay, I didn't know if there's anything worth knowing there. Okay, <laughs> all righty. And then I see uh, Harry and Katie, it looks like. Okay, I can read your writing. Very good, thank you, that helps. And it looks like you know them also as friends. Any detail about them that might be worth knowing? Uh, we go to our small group. Basically. Small group, small group, okay. All right, and I see you got the other one fine. Well, thank you very much. I'll take care of this. Let me just put this away. And do you remember, I'm gonna give you another $25 Bob Evans gift card. And in return, I have to get a receipt from you. So let me just fill this out real quick. And uh, can I uh, tell you something that if you didn't remember from our last meeting, I think is very important. But Church Funerals Direct does not want me to give this to you without getting you to sign a receipt because they don't want me eating these uh, gift cards up. But they, I checked, I know you're wondering, they did say I, that you are allowed to take me to breakfast with you. That isn't against the rules, I checked. I'm sure you wanna know that. <laughs> All right, here you go. Dan, if I could just get you to sign that as a receipt, I'll give you the yellow copy. All right, well, I am really all set. I'm gonna give you that. This is the last thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna put my folder back together. And I'm gonna, oh, I see Vicki, you're getting yours all back together, all right. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna give you these. I'll take this. And the very last thing, unless you had any other questions, I'm gonna pray with you again. And if you don't mind, I assume that's okay. Dan, I heard you say at the beginning of this, uh, when we were going through your health questions, that six weeks ago, I believe you said? Six months. Six months ago, you found out you had congestive heart failure. So I'm just gonna pray for you guys before we go, if that's all right. Yes. Heavenly Father, Lord God, I lift up to you, Dan and Vicki, and just wonderful patients as they go through this process, wonderful people trying to help their family, making sure that each other as spouses and their kids, Olivia and Gavin, are not left in a lurch having to deal with this for their parents someday. And Lord, I heard Dan say he's just recently discovered in the last six months he's got congestive heart failure. I would just pray, Lord, that you would continue to bless their lives, but have mercy on him and his health Consider healing him in whatever fashion you choose to do that, whether it be through leading, through doctors and medications. Whatever you do, Lord, we submit to you and ask for your help. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 All right. Well, folks, we're all set. I'm going to let you go now, and I'll go ahead and pack up. But it has been wonderful meeting you all. Thank you so much for working with us. Dan? Thank you, thank you Steve. Nice to meet you. Vicki? Thank you. Wonderful meeting with you. Let me pull that chair out of your way. You guys have a great day.